Okay, hi everybody. It's Sam at the Pink Elephant Parlor, and this is part two of the estate sale haul that I did this past weekend. Went to all of them that I went to. There were several. Uh, the first one, uh, if you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. It's it's got a lot of neat um, vintage um, toys, stuffed animals, squeakers, Halloween. Just uh, several, and, and other stuff too. There's just a lot of really neat stuff. Um, I am going to show you the rest of the stuff I got um, in this, in the second part, this here. Um, so let me show you. It's just going to be probably about as quick as the last one. But um, really, some really pretty items here. Different, I've not seen before. So let's start with this one. Now, I have seen this one before, but... This one is a um, glass front jewelry box. Both sides do open of the butterfly. It is really nice and clean. Music box back there. It does work when you open them. Really nice. Ooh. Ooh really nice piece. I really like that one. Really, really pretty. Uh, it's got the teal turquoise color inside. Nice and clean. Of course, you know, I've opened it, so it's going to play again. But really pretty. And then, let's see. I got um, these really neat... Um, vases and they are seahorses aren't these cool oh when i say these i mean sorry these there's two of them um and i will probably sell them separate so if you like them you can you can buy them both but they'd be um priced separate they're really nice and clean there's no chips no cracks um I've been, I've washed them. They're really, really good condition. I really like them. I like the way the little, looks like little beading goes around. A little, really nice detail on them. Let me set that one down there. Try not to bump my camera too much. And then I found this salt and pepper shaker, which I've never seen before. I found one online and it was like a um, worth point or something like that. And I couldn't really see what it went for, but it is it's the frog and the tadpole. They are a set. These are really, really neat. I didn't see any markings. There's no stoppers on them. I didn't see any markers, but he is a little tadpole. He is really cute. And then goes from a tadpole into this frog. And he is smiling. He is a really cute little piece as well. Um, let's see, what are we gonna look at now? Okay, let's go ahead and do this one. Now this is a fish um, flower frog. It's got all the little holes down here. And it looks like the bottom says Jameson. Um, and I think it's California, but this fish flower frog, and I do have the pond that it sits in. It would sit in here just like that. Really pretty colors with the green and the burgundies. And let me show you this a little better. Just like this. So these are really neat pieces. This is the um, mark on the back there. I thought they were pretty neat, so I picked those up. And like I said, no chips, no cracks. Really, really good condition. Um, the, in the bottom of the fish is the same um, marking as the, the pond it sets in. Um, then I got this flamingo right here. He is in really good condition as well.
Now he is marked on the bottom, Maddox, California. He's a really nice piece. I got some paper blowing over here. My little air filter for the house popped on. So if y'all hear something funny, that'll go off in a little bit. But um, I just, I really, really like him. I'll tell you how tall he is. He is um, just right over about 10 and a, 10 and a quarter inches tall. Really, really neat flamingo there, old one. I also got this one here. Now this one is not marked on the bottom, but it does have, uh, which looks like an M carved into there. And then there's some extra um, pottery stuck in there, but the manufacturer, so it's all, all there. They left it there. And this one here is um, about six inches tall. Just a really pretty flamingo. Um, then I got some Wade Whimsies. Now these aren't like, oh, you know, the little bitty. I got a couple of the little ones, you know, but like this hippo here and then it will come with its babies and I say babies because there's another one right here all the little babies it comes with and they are marked on the bottom it says Wade I don't think that's gonna focus for me but and all of them all of them are marked Wade Wade made in England. <clears throat> so I have that little set there. It's in excellent condition. And then I have um, this one here. And this is Peter Pan. Now on the bottom, that's what it says there. Peter Pan Collection. Um, it is from 2002. But now it is a uh, membership piece. It means you had to be a member of their... Um, I guess club or whatever um, to get this one. The official, the official international Wade Collectors Club. Yep. So it's a neat one. Now he is. Um, he's about four and a half inches tall. And he's sort of lust, like luster wear. He's really, really neat. That like water he swooped up on there. And along with him, I got Alice. She's really cute too. She is also a, um, she's a 1999 membership piece made in England. Um, Wade. Alice Wonderland Collection Alice, yep. That's the bottom on her as well and then I got several weighed pieces here I'm going to show you real quick I got um, this is um, Felix the cat he's playing his guitar and he's a weighed piece as well and it is marked T, M, and, can't read the last of that. I think it's 2008, Felix the Cat. And then he's got the little Wade symbol there on his um, bottom of his foot as well. And these are all in, as far as I know, excellent condition. I, when I bought them and I've got them home and unwrapped of everything, looks really good. This is the little pixie guy sitting in the in the clover now he is made in Ireland by Wade it said it says made in Ireland by Wade company and I think that's a r m a g h I believe <coughs> sorry about that really cute little piece there 
And then I have another little pixie guy setting in a little tray there. He is all also marked Irish um, porcelain made in England. Got the clover on the bottom of it there. I don't know if that's a weight or not. I'm not a hundred percent. I think I think it. I believe it is. Um, and then oh, I just love this little piece. Now he is also a little weighed whimsy piece. It is the little hedgehog. I love little hedgehogs. They're really cute. And then we have this hippo here. And these are. These aren't the smallest ones. You know, the smallest ones are about half this size. <coughs> These are the next step up. Then we have um, this little gnome or pixie guy here. And he's a, he's a little bigger than, you know, the small ones as well. He's a, he's about two and uh, three quarter inches tall and sort of a dark gray color cute little piece I thought and then I picked up another Alice and it is also a Wade little Wade piece as well it's marked Wade there on the back and I'm trying to see what she has in her hands I'm not really sure what she's got in her hands but I thought she was pretty cool um, Oh, I have these here. Now, these are in the original box here. Let's see if I can get them out of here. They didn't wrap them back up very well. But it was a young boy, so he I guess he was trying. But it is the swans. She's got her babies. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm trying to read here on it. So those are really cute as well. Um, and then I also, when I see these, I always pick these up because I know a lot of people um, like these. Um, let's see if I can get a hold of them. And they're, they're these little, these little tins that, um, you know, people do little cakes or jellos or, or different things with. And I pick them up in every shape and size I, know I can find them in because people tend to really, they really like them. And I think they're, they're fun to, to do little things in too, little muffins little cakes, jello, different things like that. Um, and then I picked up this here. I had to set it down on the floor. It is a sort of a smoky gray colored uh, genie bottle. Now it is, um, it's not flashed. It is, um, you know, the color of the glass is that smoky gray color. Now there is something, I tried to get it out of there, but I couldn't get it out. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find something else to try to clean that with, but it, it's a really neat bottle. It says on the bottom, um, this bottle federal law forbids sale or reuse of, whoopsie. Well, we're gonna sell it because you know, hey, why not? But it's really pretty. No chips or cracks in it as well. And then I would went up to my sister's uh, last week. You know, we had a sale. If you go back on my channel, if you haven't seen that, that sale at my sister's uh, Tudor's Treasures. Um, she gave me this bottle to sell if I want it or keep. And I don't collect these, but um, I thought it would be a really neat piece. It is a man. He's got a mustache and everything there. And on the bottom, it does say made in Italy. Right there. This is also available. <clears throat> it 
So I had to set those down before I didn't have enough room across my table. Um, and then I bought um, these pieces here. Um, I I love old linens, old, you know, the, the towels and linens and, you know, aprons, all that kind of stuff. But I bought these old, um, or vintage, these towels. And they've never been used. And this is like a, I'd say like a dish towel, or a, you know, dish towel or hand towel size here. So I've got that one with the pink rose on it. And then I've got this one here. And it has blue strawberries on it. And I don't believe these has ever been used, never been washed. Some of them still have tags and stickers and different things on them. They're still nice and fresh and um, well, as fresh as they can be for as old as they are. But um, yeah, so I got those two there. And then um, so these, these here still have the stickers on them. Then I got a, um, some like this. And I think there's another one that matches that one, yeah. This one here matches that one. And they are, um, like I said, they still have their, they still have their original paper sticker right there on it. So those are really nice and really pretty bright orange and, and um, pink. They look like sort of a chrysanthemum or something like that. Really pretty. And then I have these here, and they have your fruit on them. And these are uh, Canon. And they have their tags right here. I don't think they've ever been used either. There's a, you know, there's a, like where they were folded, there might be like a little bit of a yellow streak, but I honestly think that will come out because um, it's very, very light. And there's another one like that one. You know, I bought several of these little towels because I just, I mean, they were just a big stack of them and I couldn't help myself. And then there's the apples. Yeah, like that. Just thought they were really neat. And I, I sell these, um, Fairly inexpensive, you know, for what towels are today. Goodness, you go to the store and one of these would cost you twelve or fifteen dollars. They've still got the tags on them. It may not even be as pretty as these. And I have another one of those with the apples on it as well. Yes, and that one, this one here still has the tags on it too. And then um, this one here is I've got several of these so if you're interested in them let's see there's three four five six seven there's nine of them and they're just this little towel here it has let me fold it in half here so on the same on the other side it has the exact same thing it has the butterfly the house the cherries with the pear and then a flower and then a strawberry and a mushroom. And all of them are exactly like this. And none of them have ever been used. So those are really nice. <clears throat> oh, I don't think I showed this piece here. And this is a um, pipe holder. And it's got a little um, a Yorkie on it. And I can't remember who has the Yorkies. I've, I try to remember everything, but my memory just don't work. I want to say Joanne, but I'm not a hundred percent. It is also marked, uh, Wade England on the bottom. And it is just a, it's a pipe holder. I thought, what in the world? That is the coolest thing. Oh, and I have this little cat. Now it's not Wade, but it's just a really cute little kitty cat doesn't have any markings, just a piece, it's just a porcelain one. And then back to the towels, I have three of the Christmas ones here. If anyone is interested in those, I have three 
three of them in the in the Christmas print there were the uh, poinsettias on them and then I have um, this set here that I'd like this to sell all together and it is blues and purples but it's got like the roses then there's this one here with the with the purple flowers and then there's a couple of the little hand uh, finger towels that have the little purple roses on it and then I have or I mean blue blue roses and then I have this one with the blue flowers and the uh, clover and then this one has the blue roses with some purple on it so I thought they looked really pretty good together with the colors they're all purples and blues so if anybody's interested in those and then guys let's see I have something when I seen it in the estate sale video I had to be the first one in there to get it um, and I absolutely love these. They are for sale. Um, I'm gonna let me reach over here and get them for you. They're they're not small, small, but they're not huge by any means either. But they are um, paint by numbers, and it is um, now this one is Pinocchio. The man who did these, there, um, who did this one here. He is 96, I believe uh, the lady said, and he painted these when he was like 10, 11, something like that. Um, he was very young, he said. He couldn't remember exactly. He thought he may have been about 10, 11 years old, but um, this is really, really neat. And they're just in this little frame that they put them in, and this is the, you know, the frame he put them in when he was younger. Um, so I haven't really got to look up a whole lot on these. I know there was three in the set. This one here with Pinocchio. And then, um, let's see if I can get that to lean here for me. And then this one, which is the Wizard of Oz. Wizard, Wizard of Oz. <laughs> and it's, he did just a really good job on them. And they're, they're in really good shape. I think the frames could use a little touch up on the black. There's a little scratches here and there on that. But the uh, painting uh, itself, they're really, really in good shape. Really nice. They, they had had them stored. And I did not get the other one. The other one that goes with the set is Alice in Wonderland. But somebody had already got that one before me. Because, you know, you try to be the first one there, but I would have had to been... The, well, the estate sale was um, an hour and a half from my house. So, um, yeah, I would have had to get up and out of here, leave my house by, what, four in the morning? <laughs> I did the best I could, um, and I wasn't too far down in the line. But uh, the one person, some people ahead of me, she got the uh, Alice in Wonderland one, which I don't understand why they sold them separate, you know, because it, it was a kit that had all three of them in it. And um, I thought they would have sold them all together, but um, now I will sell them separate since they're not, you know, one's missing anyway. So they will, those are available. Um, but they will be sold separate now because of uh, not getting all three of them. Um, that is everything else I believe I got. Um, oh no, I got these. Let me show these real quick. I didn't show these a while ago um, in the earlier video that I put out. Um, I, I put a, a, the first part of it out earlier and this is the second part of uh, the haul. But it is the um, mercury glass um, garland. So I have two strip. I have two strands like this one with the red and the blue and silver. So I have two of these, um, and they're in, you know fairly good shape. 
I'd already put these in a little bag so I could keep them separate so they're not knocking around into each other. And then, um, like I said, I have, and then I have another one of those that's the same as that other one I just showed you. And then this is, oh, now I've not seen this one before. And I've seen quite a few of these different styles. Um, but it is, um, it's got like, oh, it looks like little starbursts in each one of them. And they're pretty nice ones too. And they have uh, their little stars, you know, the little paper stars on the ends of them. Those are also available. Just sort of look, taking a quick look across the table because I want to make sure you got to see everything. This video, second part, is a little longer than the last one. Um, now, if you see anything in part one or part two here, um, you can always email me. My email will be in the description below. And um, once these items go, you see them in like a preview to a sale. That means they're no longer available. They'll be at the sale and, that, and I will only sell them at the sale. So if you're interested in anything you've seen here in this video, make sure you get a hold of me as soon as possible because I usually do my um, preview to my next sale on the following Friday. So um, this is um, Thursday, I guess. So try to let me know today or uh, tomorrow and I will set those items back and I will not put them in a sale until we, you know, have talked and um, I'll give you the prices and, and, you know, I'll make sure that, you, you know, you get the ones you want if we can work something out. So um, my sales are on Sunday, every Sunday at 3 p.m. Central Time. Um, so I hope to see you there. If, like I said, again, if there's anything you want, just email me. It'll be in the uh, email below. I don't usually check the comments too much. Um, I mean, I go through and I look at my comments, of course, but I like things like that. If you want something emailed to me, it's just easier to keep up with that way. Um, so, because I look at my email constantly, you know, every day. So, uh, thank you for watching my video. Please like you know, thumbs up, share, um, leave a comment, even if it's nothing but just a little smiley face or a thumbs up or, you know, a thumbs down. I mean, it's all, it's all comments. So, um, thank you very much and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.